friends welcome back to just biotech in today's video we are going to discuss about the preparation of bacteriophage dna for gene cloning experiment the key difference between fast dna purification and the preparation of either total cell dna or plasmid dna is that for phages the starting material is not a cell extract this is because bacteriophage particles can be obtained in large numbers from the extracellular medium of an infected bacterial culture. When such a culture is centrifuged, the bacteria are pelleted, leaving the phage particles in suspension. The phage particles are then collected from the suspension and their DNA extracted by a single depolymerization step to remove the phage capsid. Yet successful purification of significant quantities of phage DNA is subject to several pitfalls. The main difficulty, especially with lambda, is growing an infected culture in such a way that the extracellular fast tighter than the number of fast particles per ml of culture is significantly high. Let us study about lambda titer. The maximum titer that can reasonably be expected from lambda is 10 to the power 10 per ml, yet 10 to the power 10 lambda particles will need only 500 nanograms of DNA. Large culture volumes in the range of 500 to 1000 ml are therefore needed as substantial quantities of lambda DNA are to be obtained. Growing a large volume of culture is no problem, but obtaining a fast titer at maximum requires a certain amount of skill. The naturally occurring part is lysogenic and an infected culture consists mainly of cells carrying the prophage integrated into the bacterial DNA. The extracellular lambda titer is extremely low under these circumstances. To get a high yield of extracellular lambda, the culture must be induced so that all the bacteria enter the lytic cycle, resulting in cell death and release of lambda particles into the medium. Most laboratory strains of lambda carry a temperature sensitive mutation in the CI gene that are the genes responsible for maintaining the phage in integrated state. When activated, the CI gene no longer functions correctly and switch to lysis occurs. In the CI temperature sensitive mutation, the CI gene is functional at 30 degrees Celsius. At which temperature, normal lysogeny occurs, but at 42 degrees Celsius, the CI temperature sensitive gene product does not work properly and lysogeny cannot be maintained. A culture of E. coli infected with lambda phage carrying CI temperature sensitive mutation can therefore be induced to produce extracellular phages by transferring from 30 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Preparation of non-lysogenic lambda phages Although most lambda strains are lysogenic, many cloning vectors derived from lambda are modified by deletions of the CI and other genes, so that lysogeny never occurs. These phages cannot integrate into the bacterial genome and can infect cells only by analytic cycle. With these phages, the key to obtaining a high titer lies in the way in which the culture is grown. In particular, the stage at which the cells are infected by adding the phage particles. If phage particles are added before the cells are dividing at their maximal rate, then all the cells are lysed very quickly, resulting in a low titer. On the other hand, if the cell density is too high when the phages are added, then the culture will never be completely lysed and again, the fast titer will be low. The ideal situation is when the age of the culture and the size of the fast inoculum are balanced such that the culture continues to grow but eventually all the cells are infected and lysed so that high fast titer is obtained. Collection of phages from an infected culture The remains of lysed bacterial cells along with any intact cells that are left over can be removed from an infected culture by centrifugation, leaving the fast particles in suspension. The problem now is to reduce the size of the suspension to 5 ml or less, a manageable size for DNA extraction. Fast particles are so small that they are palleted only by very high speed centrifugation. Collection of phages is therefore usually achieved by precipitation with bags that is polyethylene glycol. This is a long chain polymeric compound which in the presence of salt adsorbs water thereby causing macromolecular assembly such as phages particles to precipitate. The precipitate can then be collected by centrifugation and re-dissolved in a suitably small volume. 
purification of DNA from lambda part particles. Deproteinization of the lead dissolved back precipitate is sometimes sufficient to extract pure part DNA by usually lambda parts are subjected to an intermediate purification step. This is necessary because the back precipitate also contains a certain amount of bacterial debris, possibly including unwanted cellular DNA. These contaminants can be separated from the particles by CSCL density gradient centrifugation. The lambda particles bends in a CSCL gradient at 1.45 to 1.50 gram per centimeter cube and can be withdrawn from the gradient as done for DNA brands. The removal of CSCL by dialysis leads to pure patch preparation from which the DNA can be extracted either by phenol or protease treatment. Thanks for watching the video and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos.